Hey guys, it's Nico Fry Games here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are uh, going to be uh, doing a look at the new DLC ship that everyone's been trashing on. So I guess I'm going to trash on this uh, this ship review. I am not going to go out and do anything about it, but because literally the Santa Ana is one of the most disappointing DLC ships ever. I only bought it just to review uh, its stats and uh, basically it looks very similar to another ship which is let me pull it up which literally it is it's literally a copy and paste shitty version of the goddamn uh, Christian so, just think about that. They are, they want to get 50 bucks out of a half, half-assed uh, ship. So, let's go over the stats. So, we're going to pull out the Christian stats. And then, I'm going to pull out the Santa Ana's stats. So, okay, so. Let's compare and contrast the Santa Ana and the Christian. So, literally, rank 2, rank 2. It is 96 guns and it is 96 guns. Upgrades, 3, 4 decks. Battle rating, the, the battle rating is literally the exact same thing. The exact same thing. The speed similar. Surprise, surprise. The rudder is the same. Pumps the same. Turn rate's the same. Crew is exactly the same. The hold. I have some stuff upgrading the. Uh, ooh, the hold is actually a little bit bigger in the Santa Ana. So, kind of meh. Not good enough. And then I didn't really care what types of upgrades to put on it, so that's not the main issue here. And then let's look at the guns. So let me pull the guns into this right here from the Christian. I'm almost done. So right here. Okay, so now let's compare the guns, shall we? So on the lower deck, the Christian is better. 42 pounder cannons. So that's a pretty hefty uh, broadside for the lower cannons. And then the Santa Ana doesn't get the 42 pounders, it gets the 36 pounders. And then 28 guns in its middle deck. Which is higher than the fucking uh, Christian, which is the 32 pounders. But 24 pounders are pretty good. They're literally like pretty good, almost exactly the same. So let's look up 42 pounders, caliber 24, base damage 125, reload 58. So record those numbers and then let's look at the 42 pounders. Or the 30, 32 pounders, never mind. Where are the 32 pounders? I don't think I have any right now, but let's pull up the shop. Here, the shop. Let's look at the 32 pounders. Literally almost like identical. Damage 152. The reload time is. 63 seconds then we go back to the, this right here the damage is less but the reload is a little bit faster with the uh, 24 pounder so I think my edge goes to the Christian again because it can reload faster than the 32 pounders but it's more balanced between the lower and middle deck and then literally 26 and 26 and they're almost the exact same thing. Thing with the top deck. 
the carronades are the same, and then the sternum bow chasers are the same. So, I I like this game. I literally do. I like this game. It has a diverse group of ships, but when you pull out something like this and expect people to pay 50 bucks for a ship that isn't historically accurate, that is just a copy and paste of a regular ship, that's just ridiculous, guys. Come on. So, my uh, suggestion to all of you, do not pay a single dime for this ship. This ship is... Oh my god. I can't even describe how mad I am. I thought we were, we were going to get a unique ship. A new unique ship that come to the game. Instead, they give us this. Absolutely ridiculous. So, I feel I had to get this off my chest. And then, the update with balloons? That's something else. I These two DLCs, don't even waste your money on them. Don't waste your money on them until they change their attitude and get something historically accurate. I like the other ships, other DLC ships, like... I like the other DLC sh ships, like the, the Pandora, that no one else can get. It's historically accurate. It is different from all the other fifth rates in the game. It's fast, but it's, it's a little squishy. So, that's good. And literally... Another DLC ship that is better than the Santa Ana. The Victory, which is almost the exact same as the other Victory, but they made it more historically accurate to the time when it was made. In 1765, which is a beautiful ship. They did good work on this. And then let's pull up the Hel Hermione. The El Hermione, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but... It's literally another 5th rate ship. It's not overpowered. It's historically accurate. They got it right. If you don't want to spend money on this frigate, buy the LaBelle Pool. It's exactly, almost exactly the same. With some minor details. Literally, like, almost all the other DLC ships are better. Like, literally... The Redoubtable, which I would choose the Redoubtable over the Santa Ana. It's historically accurate. It's a good ship. And then the Le Leopard. Exact same thing. Difference. Historically accurate. Same thing with the, with the Rasfaden. Ratvison, that's it. Literally, it's not overpowered. It's a good ship. Well balanced. Hercules, same thing. It's diverse. But this, once again, this shit right here, not acceptable. So, I will not go out and sail this ship. I'm probably just going to sell it for money right now. Because literally, I already have a ship like this. And it's called the Christian. Which is better. It's more beautiful. It's historically accurate. It's not a Spanish ship. It is literally a Danish ship. That gives a unique character. And the Santa Ana fails to deliver... Fails to deliver on the uh, historical ac accuracy of anything. So, leave a comment down below. You don't have to like and subscribe to this, but... Do not spend a penny on the ship. Okay? Leave a comment down, down below. Like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you next time.